Alright. Y'all know that I don't do product reviews very much. And for me to actually do a review on it, keep it, it has to be worth my life. I would stake my life on it. And that's just the way I am. I'm not going to review a bunch of gear just for the heck of it. Strike Force. Ultimate Survival Technologies. I've got a really old video up from last year. One of the thir first things I reviewed. I have to tell you, I'll still stand by this any day of the week against any other fire starting method. Absolutely love it. Does great. Never have a problem out of it. Have to remember, when you strike this at the beginning, you're not going to get anything. You know, not much. Because you have to get through the oxidization on the outside of this rod. This is the mesh metal, not the flint, not that one. So, once you get past that oxidization, you've got sparks. You've got fire, you're good to go. Get it wet, still works. Great stuff. Yes, I've got the tinder in the back that comes that I can get with it. The wet fire, absolutely love it. Now this is the Army model. Thank you, Bill. And uh, I like it. Works well. Don't have a problem with it. I still prefer this one over this, but I carry them. I have five or six of these. Six of these. And only one of these so far. I'd rather spend the money on this one myself. Personal opinion. New edition for Christmas. The wife got me a Rat 3 with all the trimmings. And uh, I like it. Still a little stiff. Haven't had it out used it. Still sharp. Got the original edge. Taking hair off. And I'm a hairy guy. So, um... Working out well. I can't wait to take it out. Really put it through its uses to see how it goes. Got all the parts. Got this from canteenshop.com. Uh, Rob up there. Thank you, Rob. Matter of fact, a lot of stuff I got, I got from Rob. Uh, and don't get me wrong, I bought everything. Canteenshop.com. Wonderful place to shop. This is my Gerber shovel. This is a NATO version. This is not the little chintzy thin one. This is the big, the big dog. Absolutely love it. Works out great. Got scratches all over it, but uh, you know, not meant to be pretty. Uh, from digging holes to uh, chopping to everything else you can think of. Dave Canterbury did a wonderful video on this. Uh, there's a few other ones out there. It's a great shovel. A little heavy. I don't carry it all the time, but when I do take it out, I, you know, I take it out for the use. Canteen from canteenshop.com. I cannot tell you guys if you do not have one of these canteens, which is the same as one of these water bottles, same material. You don't have to deal with hi mom. Uh, you know <laughs> you better have you don't have to deal with the taste out of the plastic that goes through in the old military canteens or the stainless steel kind of funny taste out of the old military canteens get one of these of course he's got the new uh, stove I've still got one of the old ones canteen cup uh, all the other stuff in there absolutely wonderful had that thing out, used it so many times, it's ridiculous. I uh, got this from a place here in Cincinnati. It's a Singles Nest Hammock. You know, Eagles Nest Outfitter, or Eagle, yeah, Nest Outfitters. Uh, single hammock works just fine for me. I understand you get a double hammock, you can lay kind of sideways, that kind of deal. Um, if you hear any sliding noises and whatnot, the better half, she's getting ready to take the dog out. So, I like the hammock system. I'll be getting a bug net. I do need, I do need a bug net for this. If anybody can tell me, this is Eagle's Nest, this is a single, I need a bug net. Should I get an Eagle's Nest bug net for it? Should I get a different bug net? 
I've seen different reviews, different problems on different things. So, give me some advice. Please send me something back. Oh, uh, let's see. The old standby. Becker Companion, I'm sorry, Camp Companion 2. Uh, this one is a K-Bar version. And as you can see, I've been working the edge. Uh, heavy. Heavy as heck. One of the heaviest knives I've ever owned. But, that thickness right there makes up for everything. I darn near think I could drive this into a tree and hang the truck off of it. I really do. Worked out well. I'm not a real big fan of the sheath. It works. Most of the time I carry this in my pack. So I'm not really worried about it. If I were to carry it on my back, I would probably go to uh, Hedgehog Leather and get one of their sheaths because they have some really, really great stuff on there. But I throw this in the pack and I normally don't wear it. Uh, I was wearing a Gerber and a few other knives. And this year I'll be taking this one out and testing it, trying this. So I'll get back with you. This is the Rat 3 again. And we'll see. I usually wear about a 3 inch blade. I like straight blades. I don't like folders. That's just me. Uh, that's it out of the bag. The only other thing I got to show you is this beat up wonderful pack, which is the Snug Pack Rocket Pack. Now I got the bigger one, but I have three daughters and a wife, and I wind up carrying more than, you know, myself. Not to say that I can't take these rocket packs off the sides and use just those, or just use the pack without a rocket pack, which is a lot of times I go for my, by myself, I'll leave the rockets at home, and just take the regular pack. Absolutely wonderful, comfort, good pads, great, holds up well, and I have beat this thing, hung it from trees, fallen down hills with it, and uh, wipe it off with a, a damp rag and some cleaner, and I'm good to go. See the reviews on this pack. Dave Canterbury has it. They got this one at canteenshop.com. Absolutely wonderful pack. I'll stick with this. It's done everything I've needed it to do. Internal frame. I love it. That's uh, my deal. I've carried old military packs, you know, extra frame or uh, outer frame packs and, and everything else, and external, internal. I like that one the best. That's the one I'm going to stick with, and you'll see me that with this this year. Now that I've got a longer video card, I'll actually get to shoot some videos while I'm out instead of my three-minute short blurbs that I have had in the past. So that's my quick review on a few of the items I have and a couple of new items, and uh, I hope that I put some insight into you that uh, some questions were asked. Anything else? Please get back with me somebody on this uh, bug net from my hammock, and uh, I thank you all, and I'll catch you all the next one.